since we spoke last week, the Mets made a trade, and, and they trade away a young guy who, boy, was talked about for a long, long time as being the next big thing for this team. Lasting's Millage gone. He goes to Washington. They get back two players. They get back Brian Schneider and Ryan Church. Let's first talk about Lasting's Millage. Jim, this is a guy a couple of years ago was talking about trading him for, for Manny Ramirez. Roy Oldswalt, now you get back, no disrespect to Ryan Church and Brian Schneider, but certainly his, his stock dropped. There's no question. That's the biggest uh, story, I think, in baseball is how far Millage's stock has dropped uh, throughout the game. And I think when you look at what, uh, what Omar was able to get for him, he got two complimentary pieces. I mean, Brian Schneider is going to be a, a heck of a, a catch-and-throw catcher for the Mets, probably the best catch-and-throw guy since the Charlie O'Brien or even Jerry Grody days. But you're really looking for some offense out of that position, too, and he's not going to give you the offense. And Ryan Church, he's a nice, again, complimentary player, has not hit lefties very well. So Millage, you know, again, he has the upside. I think generally when you look at these type trades, you know, I think the Nationals got the better player here, and I think the Nationals got the better of the deal. Well, you look at there's Millage's number for 2007. They don't jump off the page, that's for sure. But, Eddie, I get the sense that he never really got a chance to... to to play enough, and when I say that is, it was never really his position to hold. You know, mm -hmm. of course, he got some time last year. There were some injuries. He had some streaks in there where he did play ex extensively in right field. Right. But I wonder if he got enough of, of a time to really show what he can do, and maybe maybe that's the case. Maybe the Mets didn't want to give him that time because they were afraid that the results wouldn't be positive. A lot of times with Lastings, Kevin, I think it was one step up and two steps back. He showed some great promise at times. Uh, he hit very well with runners in scoring position for a team that did very poorly in that regard. And as a matter of fact, with two outs in runners in scoring position, he hit 400 for the year. Limited at bats, of course, right. but he had a knack and a flair for the dramatic and a way to come up with a clutch hit. So there's a lot to like about Lastings Millage. There were some things that were drawbacks, obviously to him, both on the field and off the field, and I think that took its toll. All right, so Miller's gone. It's a chance. Anyway, you look at it, it could work well, and it could not. Anytime you deal with trading away a young player, that's the way it's going to go.